Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl, Brittany, be the CEO. Um, I am here to show you guys what is in my nursing bag. I have had this requested, so your girl is here. <laughs> Listen, this is, <laughs> this is like literally straight off of an assignment. So all kinds of stuff is probably in here. It's a hot mess, I'm sure. However, I'm going to be real, keep it real with you guys of what I carry to work. So, all right, here we go. So let me show y'all, first of all, what kind of bags I normally carry to work. Everybody has different, pers like, you know, preferences of what they like. I usually carry a shoulder bag, some kind of shoulder bag. So when I was like kind of new to nursing, yeah, no, like a new new RN, I carried like one of these. Um, you know, it was smaller, it wasn't as big. And then when I grew up a little bit more, I got a bigger bag that was like that, right? Shoulders, whatever. Um, honestly, I just got this one when I, this is my latest one, um, when I was at my niece's competition because it matched my cheetah shoes a little. So I got one of these. So you can see it's wider, still has straps and it has plenty of pockets. So one, two, you know, three, four, then it has the sides with, um, mesh sides with plenty of things that you can hold. The inside um, has a big zipper on top and then zipper inside. So it was enough for me to carry all of my junk. And I say junk because, you know, being on travel assignments, I work night shift. So in night shift, you know, you need a little extra things to do. And with me running an athleisure business with, you know, health and wellness coaching and all the extra things that I do, mom you know, working in another state, living in another one, I need all my things to come with me. So I need all the space. I need all the extra junk, all the stuff that I need. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what's in this bag. And I'm going to tell you and show you or tell you about the things that I would sometimes add that, or that I would love to add. Um, but you know, life has changed up a little bit. I'm not traveling right now. So yeah, we'll just get into that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the cough. I just got back from California. It was super, super cold there. The one day that I did have was warm. My family and I got in the pool and your girl got sick. So anyways, um, on to the next thing. All right. So first of all, planner. Ooh, my planner got all kinds of stuff on it. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't even realize it had pen and all kind of stuff. But I, ha I always have a yearly planner. Because I like to plan out um, life for the most part. Let me not get too in-depth in that because I am a go-with-the-flow chick also. So, But I have two planners and that's the thing. So I have one for like life, literally bills and all of that. And then um, in those, I kind of like to keep with like the monthly things. Quickly put it in and go. And then... I have the other planner where it's literally like for gym fit and podcast stuff and all that stuff I have going on. So therefore, you'll see this one looks a little different. It has the month, months, the month blocks, month dates, whatever you want to call it in there. And it has the weekly stuff just so I know what's happening in business. Um, and so I like to have those two different planners because I can quickly look at bills in life with that one. And I can quickly look at what I have going on with gym fit, podcasts, all those extra 511 things that I'm doing. So these are always, 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 always with me. Even when I have, like when I go out on a day to day and I have my big purse, these are usually with me. Because somebody's always like, what you got going on? And I'm like, girl, let me look at my planner. Sometimes it's in my phone and sometimes it's not. The other thing I like to carry is my iPad. Um, I carry my iPad just because whenever I'm staying in a hotel, 
Sometimes I like to carry my laptop and sometimes I don't. So that is another thing you will see in my bag, but usually I take it out while I'm at work and carry it with me for my hotel, like in my hotel. But a lot of times I like to carry this because this is basically my, my laptop on the go. Uh, and so I can just connect like with my phone, my, uh, everything is Apple for me. So I can connect with my phone. I can connect with my watch, everything that's happening, this, but you know, you also got Netflix at night. Yeah, I don't really watch a whole lot of Netflix because I'm usually busy. But if there's anything I need to do, I can pull it up on here really quick. And this is like, I have the big screen. So like, this is bigger than the normal. So it really pulls up literally like a laptop. So I like to keep this with me. Another thing I like to have is books, just depending what I'm into at that time. So honestly, I meant to buy this, this book and I thought I did, but not paying attention, I bought the summary, so Atomic Habits, which I'm really cool with this because I don't like fluff. I like to get to the point. And to be honest, I'm just getting back into reading books. So this was really good for this. I was like, let me know the habits and let me keep moving. Like, I don't need, I don't like the fluff. I don't like the long story. Give me the short one, let's roll, right? So anyways, this was one book that I'm on and then Getting Go With Money. Um, I always said I wanted to get this book. I think we can always learn to budget better. We can always learn to, to save and invest better and just, um, where I'm heading in life, God has me kind of on this plan of getting better. So, um, these are the two things I'm into right now, but usually have books with me so I can read when I have downtime or on break or whatever the case may be. Usually I have a journal with me. Uh, this is actually my old journal, but I have my new one. It's so pretty. I love this one. And it says so many good things. I got this from Target, I believe. Um, but I like to journal whenever God starts dropping revelations on me or just what I'm going through at the time or just whatever to be present, to make sure I stay present. Um, and sometimes if I'm in a workshop or something like that. I keep all that in the journal too because I like to go back and see what I was doing at that time. This is my third journal I'm on since my whole uh, like divorce, you know, transformation and all that, you know, personal life development, all those things that I've been going through. Um, this is my third one. And so these really help with knowing where you're at and staying present. And so sometimes at work, when I have that downtime, like two, three in the morning, these are perfect to be writing in. So of course I got my beautiful stethoscope. It's a Litman, um, no special Litman. Uh, I usually, I have a name tag. My name erases and comes off. I like I write it in permanent marker and it still comes off. But anyways, breast cancer um, thing. And then I got one of those ones. I don't know if you can see it, if it'll, I don't know. It changes, it's like the rainbow changes color. Kaleidoscope kind of thing. Yeah, I just realized that, that made sense to me about something. Anyways, I have that. I keep this on me all the time, even also when I'm traveling out of the country or out of state and I have my break, my big bags, I always take my stethoscope. I don't know, I think it's just part of being a nurse and if something happens, if I got a stethoscope, I at least can hear whether it, you know, got breath sounds, hear the heartbeat, something, you know, anyways. Um, I always, for some reason, maybe because I'm a big traveler, always have my passport with me. You probably shouldn't. I won't say that this is probably a good idea, but I always have my passport with me. Oh no, never. I never know when I'm going to say, all right, you know, Bay might call and be like, yo, I got a surprise trip for you. Meet me in Greece tomorrow. I got my passport. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I like trips off the, you know, off the whim. Anyways, um, I have that. So that's always with me. And then I always keep my vaccination card on me also. So just in case, because work, I don't know. They get a little iffy sometimes when it comes to that. Um, sometimes, I, well, first of all, let me just say, this makes no sense. But every nurse know we end up with 50 million flushes because we start clearing out our pockets. Look, put IV, like this is ridiculous, Brittany. I need to get rid of this stuff. But I usually have plenty of flushes 
I actually have like a whole bag of them because I stick them in my pocket to have ready to go and they just in them in my pocket and I get home and then yeah I always got some kind of sunglasses pair of sunglasses on me because as I'm driving um, I don't know about y'all, but like I normally, if I, if I'm leaving to go to work and this is because like my travel assignment last time was only 50 miles or a little longer. It was about three hours from home, but I don't take my purse with me. Like I literally take my bag and that's that. Or I take a small purse that way it's just my wallet and things. And then I just throw it all in my bag. So a lot of times I'll have what's in my purse in this bag. So sunglasses with me uh let's see these were my hotel receipts from staying at the last hotel i see that um i always got a comb usually a brush my hair is naturally curly i'm sure you'll see in my other videos but when it's straight or whenever i got something i don't know you never know when you need a comb or a brush i always got a comb and a brush um let's see at the time when we needed masks but you never know what places want you to still have a mask so i keep that on me um, there always ends up being gloves in my pocket just because, or in my bag, because I have usually extra gloves in my pocket. And so when I leave, I end up dumping them all. And a lot of junk ends up in my bag because when I go stay to a hotel, <clears throat> I put all that, I take all that stuff and throw it in my bag because it's a hotel. Like, you know, <clears throat> sorry, your girl was choking. <laughs> Um, usually I will keep, now I know most places tell us not to wear any kind of perfume or anything like that, but your girl is going to go to work smelling good. I'm either going to work smelling like downy or I'm going to work with one of my, you know, favorite scents or whatever. So this is like a just cheap little scent that I think I got from like Marshall's and I really liked it. And what I like is that it doesn't, um, it's not powerful, but it smells good, light summery little you know smell i can't smell right now so no need to because everything i got going on but when i'm at a hotel or something i like to keep this in my bag so or at work or whatever so that's just me i always keep a scent on me your girl is always gonna smell good um i always got some kind of leave or something just because if i get a headache because sometimes when you're at work you just grab you get a headache or whatever you know i work out too so sometimes i'm sore and it'll even ibuprofen help me. Uh, always got a name tag in there, my badge, always. And I always have like some kind of, you know, bedazzled thing. So this one's a camel. I think I have a palm tree. I have an elephant and a couple other ones. I get that at my local nursing store or something that's here. Um, I always got feminine products. Sorry for you guys who may be watching this, but I always got some feminine products. I usually keep them in a bag and keep them together. But like I said, y'all, I was off. This is off the one. This is literally straight from an assignment. Next day, come home, pack, catch a flight to California. Um, my pens and pencils. I keep it usually in the case. This happens to just be a smaller one this time, but usually I have a big one where I keep them all in here. I like to usually have the pens that have the different colors that you can push them. But I think I've like worn them all out. So even if not, I have different color pins cause I'll color coordinate. I don't have a um, assignment sheet because for me, I grab a sheet, fold it into six cause I usually have between four and six patients. And then I just write down what I need. Like I already know what I need. I already know what questions to ask during report because I want to cut the fluff. I don't need the extra stuff that you want to tell me. Anything else I can look up unless there's something pertinent to like, they got a family member that's just up the wall and they just getting on our nerves or whatever, or they're just very whatever. Little stuff like that. But other than that, I just need to know the basics of what's happening and I go about my business, right? I can look up everything else, including with those. I always have my own dry erase markers. Um, I usually carry two or three with me because I'm good for sitting them down um, to write my name on the board. Make sure it's all updated. Um, let's see. What else? Some of it's just trash. Like It's just paper like that I don't need to show you. It's ridiculous. Um, hair clips. I'll keep these in sometimes so when my hair is straight if I need to put it up. Because um, <coughs> y'all know with wearing the mask, 
um, especially in 95s. I actually have one to show you. At this particular hospital, we wore this kind of mask. Um, I actually like these. These are dope and they're comfortable. Um, and it has a little soft part in here. But, you know, trying to put this on over, you know, here we go, over a big puff or whatever. I just have my clip and throw my hair up. Um, your girl always keeps some deodorant on her. I wear spray deodorant, so I always keep some on me. Always got a charger for something. This is just, this happens to be for my phone. But I have for my phone, I have for my watch, all of that shoes in there. Um, uh, sometimes I have some bills, you know, in there just because I'm checking the mailbox and on the go. I don't know about y'all, but I keep utensils in my part in my bag because some of these places you go to, especially working at night, they don't have utensils. I've worked to a few hospitals where the, um, the, what is it? Cafe, cafeteria is not open. And so you got to bring your own food and you don't got nowhere to get utensils. So I bring my own. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's get to these side pockets. Carmex. I can't go nowhere without my Carmex. Nowhere. I gotta, like, my boyfriend literally keeps AirPods everywhere he goes. I keep Carmex everywhere I go. It's completely different. <laughs> completely different. I mean, it's kind of a dope idea, but he keeps his AirPods everywhere. It's multiple for wherever he goes. I keep Carmex because your girl always want some good looking lips. Um, I always keep some hand sanitizer. This is not, I don't know why it's not, but eucalyptus hand sanitizer. You never know. Always got tape. Y'all, nurses? No, we take tape home everywhere. We just always do. Um, I always got hair ties just in case. Your girl is always ready. I'm trying to be ready for everything. Whatever I need, I want to be ready for. Sometimes I'll carry my toothpaste and stuff, so if I want to brush my teeth, just more hand sanitizer. Um, if I want to brush my teeth at work after eating, I will. I definitely got a set of AirPods. I'm horrible. I don't lost like two or three pairs of these. This is a shame. But I saw one nurse, she was like, I'm going back to the regular things just because it's easier. But these are easier to hide, just to be honest. If you're charting, in the thing ear, nobody know. You know, I like to talk to my man while I'm charting or something like that. Or I like to talk to my sister or family or whoever I need to because I'm far away. So, or listen to my music. I like to jam. I can do my charting so fast, whatever, I'm jamming out. So, I probably need another pair of these too. Anyways, um, yo, I think that's about it. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, a little notepad, nothing much. For the most part, I think that's it. Um, the only other stuff I would probably add that's not in here. Sometimes I like I'll, I'll have food in here. I'll have snacks on if it's that day that I'm going to work. A heater. I'm not gonna lie. I saw one girl talk about a heater. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to throw in a little baby heater because at night it is freezing on the floor. So I think I need to go to Amazon and order that and then grab one of those and then I'll throw one. I had, I had one girl I worked with, she always had a heater with her. So I think I'm gonna throw one of those in there. And I don't know, let me know. What else do y'all throw in your bag? If you're a new nurse, like tell me what you take to work already. I know some nurses have clipboards. I don't do clipboards. I've been a nurse seven years. I have, I got a background between trauma and Interve interventional radiology to long term to like travel nursing like you girl I some of that stuff I use at the beginning I no longer use now I'm like I am this person of let me get in let me go I get into work I do my I get my assignment together let me know what you need let me know the rest I'll figure it out me and my patients gonna run this shift how I run it you know um and it's usually with peace and quiet and chill right so I, it doesn't really require a lot for me to operate at work. I just like to have my extra stuff. Once I get my patients settled, I like to have my stuff that I need to do. So whether it's work, whether it's creating new outfit for gym fit, whether it's, you know, handling business really quick while I'm at work. I do a lot while I'm at work. I'm not going to lie. That's why I have shifted into PRN. 
Um, so yeah. But let me know in the comments what you guys take to work, what you don't take to work, what, what you like, um, what I take, or give me some suggestions. I, like I said, I've moved into PR and nursing, so th things will look, uh, some of this will probably go, probably not. Most of this will probably be here, but it won't, my bag won't be as junky because I won't be go, 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 like, you know, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on that shifting from a floor nurse to travel nurse to PRN um, and just how life is changing with that. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys this since I've been asked, what do you carry to work? What do you, you know, I've had a lot of people asking me who are new nurses, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And so a lot of that, I'm going to create those videos so that um, you guys get the inside scoop of what I have basically transitioned to. I think I've, I've been in every kind of aspect of nursing. So we can talk about it. Until then, I'm not going to hold you. Um, I'm always glad to be back on here. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can find me at Be The CEO. Also, check out Gym Fit. This is my athleisure line. In case you don't know, I have women and um, women athleisure wear and then men is soon dropping. So just depends when you see this video. It may have already dropped by now. So either way, go check it out. TheGymFitApparel.com. See ya.